Let's learn how to freeze some eggs. Hi, I'm Rosemary, and you're watching Season Living. Now you're probably thinking, why would I need to freeze eggs? Well, there's several different reasons. If you're an older couple and you only use a couple of eggs a week, you don't want your eggs to expire, so you can freeze some for a later date. Uh, if you're going out of town and you have eggs that will not be good when you get back, you can freeze them before you leave. And if you get a good sale on eggs at the store, go ahead and buy a couple extra dozen and freeze some. These come in handy if you wake up some morning and you're gonna have eggs for breakfast and uh-oh, the eggs are all gone. You can go to your freezer and grab a couple and let them fall out. Usually and they're best in like scrambled eggs, but they can be used in uh, baking as far as making cakes and cookies and things like that. So, now you have a couple of options that you can use uh, to freeze your eggs in. You can use a regular ice cube tray, or you could use one of these silicone ones is what I suggest. And there's different types of the silicone. This is a thicker walled silicone, and this is a thinner walled silicone. I like this the best. It's the easiest to pop them out uh, when they're frozen. We're going to just start by mixing them in a, a blender or you can hand mix them with a whisk. You want to get them blended without getting them frothy. So you don't want a lot of bubbles in them. You just want the, the white and the yolk combined, but not to the point where, you're, where it's all bubbly. My silicone container will carry up to about eight eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crack each egg individually into this little container and put it into just in case I get any shells. I don't want to just crack into here and then try to be digging out shells. So we're going to crack eight eggs. And there's eight. Now we have our eggs in here. Like I said, we want to just slightly pulse these eggs. We don't want to put them on a full blend and get them all fluffy. We just want to just slightly blend them. I'm thinking about six to eight pulses should be close. So I can't tell that the eggs are separate anymore. All right, I'm gonna put my little silicone tray into a, a firmer tray so that it doesn't slop all over in the freezer. Then I'm going to just pour into each of the little compartments as closely as possible the same amount. All right, let's pop these eggs out of this little tray onto our little paper towel here. They can be kind of stubborn. That's why I like the one that's a little uh, thinner of the silicone over the thicker, is they do pop out easier. I'll show you a close-up. Just like a little ice cube, but it's an egg. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a plastic Ziploc bag.
and we'll get a marker and just put the date that we put them in that we froze them. So um, we're doing these in June. And now into the freezer. And if I happen to run out of eggs some morning, I open up the fridge to make breakfast and there's no eggs, I can go, I have some in the freezer. Or somebody called and said they need a batch of cookies and I ran out of eggs. I can use the frozen eggs. We need to defrost them first. Let's show you what it's like when they're thawed out. So I have taken two of the little square blocks that I froze, I've thawed them out, and we're gonna make a real quick scrambled eggs on the stove. Just so that you can see the consistency is very similar to just having fresh eggs. So I've let my eggs thaw out, two of them, and I'm gonna add just maybe a half a teaspoon of water. And I'm going to use a whisk. You could use a fork, but you wanna put some of that air back into them. So we're gonna whisk them up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add a little cracked pepper. And a little pinch of salt. And there you have them, scrambled eggs from frozen eggs. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode where we froze some eggs, showed that they can be easily frozen, easily thawed out and used. So until next time, enjoy your seafood.